Hi, I'm Tracy Bridgen. I teach grade 8 at Southview. And I'm Matt Gallup, and I also teach grade 8 at Southview. And we're here to talk to you about the experiential learning that we've been doing with the grade 8s at Southview this year. Um, we've broken it down into two areas. We've been focusing on construction and nutrition uh, with the grade 8s, and we're trying to um, build those both in at the same time. So one class will focus on construction, and then the other class nutrition, and then they swap. We're looking at the safety and using different tools and working collaboratively and some uh, 21st century things like goal setting and um, grit and really what we're looking for in that is for them to be exposed to the trades and be able to uh, join in with the grade 7, 8 guidance team and uh, aim them towards a pathway that they're interested in, have those as a viable pathway for high school and beyond. So we built a wall and a gumbo machine and a few of the grade eights helped a grade one class build little robots and we're currently working on building a house. The projects we worked on this year in woodworking is building a little robot and we built it with the grade the grade one class and the way it worked was our grade eights took the, took the leadership role and that leadership role was really important because they were able to take the standards of practice for the tools in the workshop that they learned for safety and they were able to teach that to the grade ones and then make sure that those standards were being followed and which is really nice because we have a, a toolkit in the in the school that parent council has helped us to buy and we're hoping that this becomes not just a grade seven and eight project but an entire school experiential learning experience that the grade eights can take a lead in in addition to that, we are training our students for some of them to be able to go to the skills competition at St. Lawrence. If we want a uh, carpentry job or like a chef, we have learned some of the basic skills already, so we can put that on our resume. And say if you want to be a chef, you can show the restaurant or um, the place you want to be a chef at. Show them your resume, and if it's on there, they can s they know that you have some experience with it. They know you have a little like novice. You'll have more options in life. Uh, Mrs. Tang has been in or been to Southview several times this year to meet with uh, the grade eights as a whole and into and in small groups and then individually one on one. And we have noticed a huge difference in terms of the students kind of knowing which pathway they want to go into in high school. And we've heard a lot more, especially with the experiential learning, a lot more students talking about how they are excited to try the woodworking or the business aspect. Um, there seems to be a lot more um, excitement about it. Um, with Ms. Tang, we're going over our high school um, course selections. She's helped us with um, kind of guiding us up towards what we'd like to do for our future jobs and planning backwards to what courses we need to take for our future job we have chosen. Along with that, Mrs. Tang has helped tremendously with uh, Blueprint. The kids have been on it a lot more than we have been able to in the past um, just due to time. And so the kids have been able to sit with Mrs. Tang and talk about their future goals and careers that they want to and to research that. We've also, last year in grade seven, we also started off on the experiential learning with cooking and woodworking. And now we get to build on those skills and refine them and increase our well, skills. Um, and with Ms. Tang, it also um, generates comfort um, for also the future. It helps us feel a little bit more 